We have an update for the Uncharted movie starring Tom Holland as a young Nathan Drake. Uh, the director, who is named Sean Levy, um, if his name is familiar, he is a producer on Stranger Things. Wow, I've met his favorite. Ooh. And uh, giving a status for the upcoming Uncharted movie, he said, as of right now, the closest to the starting line is Uncharted in that it's a massive title. We now have a very good script and we have our star in Tom Holland. That is now subject to schedule and additional casting. But I would say as of right now, that seems to be the most near horizon and it's a movie I'm very excited about. Um... So yeah, the uh, Uncharted movie, it's coming along, sounds like it's, you know, it's probably going to be coming out, uh, I give it, I give it three years. And then it's not an the next three, years. is it? No. Okay. No, no. So. No, this is, this is a, going to be a it Hollywood be, production. <sighs> so, what would you think? Of seeing a movie where the concept is not based on any of the games, because you've never played an Uncharted game. Nope. So think um, a combination of Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider. Right, yeah. You know, it's along those lines. It's, it's treasure hunter, you right. know, bad guys trying to get some kind of treasure that's like the, that they really shouldn't be able to get. And that I think it sounds thing. interesting, actually. I kind of like it. Like, I don't know. I don't really know anything about it, so it sounds like, like it would be original to me. I wouldn't really know what to expect going in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. If they do it right, if the story's good and, like, it's written well, you know, I don't know. It could, it could be pretty cool. I, the, the most important thing to me is the, is the naming scheme that they go with. I think if the prequel is going to be called Uncharted, the second one should be called Charted, and the third one should be called Recharted. <laughs> yeah. No, that would actually be terrible, but it's just a funny joke. Indeed. Well, maybe not funny. Probably not. Very, very terrible. Anyways, yeah. Uh, so, um, I have to say that as I like Tom Holland as an actor, I play the Uncharted games. I like them. Um, I used to be in favor of a, a game like Assassin's Creed being made into a movie. Then they made it into a movie, and it wasn't good. You saw it, right? I did see it. You're just like all around not good? There's like writing story much line. there there were much more bad things about it than okay well, let me put it to you this way did you ever see prince of persia it was worse than that i kind of i kind of liked prince of persia okay i don't know if, i really can tell you if it's actually a good movie or not because i was like a kid mm. so i didn't really have good judgment i thought it was cool i felt it was it was kind of along the lines of the mummy movies oh, okay. with brendan fraser I love those movies. I thought the scenes were cool when he pressed the button on the dagger and he got a little like... Phew. Yeah. Yeah, the that whole cool. like time yeah. reversal thing. Yeah, yeah. And, well, and I remember watching my brother play the game, so I was like, ooh, it's just like in the game. The Assassin's Creed movie is just weird. Hmm. It's just really weird. They Even even though I like I liked Michael Fassbender as, as an actor... Right. The, the Magneto guy, right? Yeah. Young really, Magneto. Apparently they spend way too much time in the present world. That's what I think I heard someone say. Yes. That. Very, very small. Yeah. I think it's like less than 30 minutes of the movie is actually spent. Yeah. And they don't speak English in the Animus, which is the, the machine that sends them back. Well, I mean, they're, they're accurate. They're historically but the accurate. game, they explain in the game that the Animus translates oh, into English for you. They should have just you. thrown in the line about that and then that'd be it. They should have, yeah. but they didn't. And it was all subtitled. And there were some good fight scenes, and there were some really cool stunts, like the uh, the leap of faith was done really well. But that's about all like all the good I could say about it. The mo- the ending is terrible. The way the movie ends, like the movie should have ended on a certain scene, and it keeps going to like a more, I guess, a. a, a a better climax but it's not it's like it's like a the 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 movie ends on a whimper do they it's try terrible. to set up a franchise they leave it open for one but we're not getting one no we're, we're not God. it's it's so terrible so before i saw that though i would have been all for a, 
an Uncharted movie, and I would still go to see an Uncharted movie. Like, did you see that fan made um, film that had Nathan Fillon in it playing uh, uh, Nathan Drake? Look on your face Nathan tells me playing Nathan. No, I have no idea. Yeah, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Triple Nathan's up in here, y'all. For reals, um, I would look it up. Go see it. Okay, it, it's it's a. You know, you could you could go on YouTube and watch some of the game cutscenes to kind of get a feel for it. But Nathan Drake is basically an a, an everyman. He he's not particularly skilled, but he knows a lot about history. Hmm. Um, but he is basically like a thief, and like he's a treasure hunter, and uh, he gets in way over his head. What studio is making this movie? Do we the know? The studio it may not have a studio yet. If they mm. if they just now have a script, yeah, okay. Um, they probably don't have one yet. In fact, in this article on GameSpot, I'm not seeing yeah, okay. one. So, who made the Assassin's Creed movie? Um, I want to say Assassin. Uh, Ubisoft had a. They actually opened up like a film studio to make it. So Ubisoft oh, made it, which is what gave me a lot of hope for the movie. I'm like, well, if if they're doing it and they're not handing it off to some other studio to make it this is this should be this should turn out good yeah yeah i mean that's a logical um assumption but but here's my thing about this particular movie in particular i don't want to see a movie about a young nathan drake like they've they've shown young nathan drake like really yeah. young nathan drake like i think 10 and like 15 14 ish around those ages and I just don't really... And those are kind of like the less interesting parts of those games. Hmm. So I don't really want to see something about a young Nathan Drake. And, and I'm, I'm cool with them not recreating the games. Because the games already exist in a cinematic mm-hmm. uh, style. And there's no reason to revisit that. But they should do other things. And I'm okay if you make a prequel to like the first Uncharted game right you know before he he meets some of the more core characters to the series but i don't want to see a new i I don't want to see a young one it it kind of reminds me of when i think there was a lot of talk i don't know if this ever happened but i remember that there was talk about either making a film franchise or a tv show based on young indiana jones yeah Uh, and i thought that was such a stupid idea and i don't think that it actually like happened Instead, they just put a little scene in the third movie. <laughs> but that's where the idea came from. Okay, right. I, right. I, I think that for a long time, they were like, yeah, we should do this thing where, where it's a young Indiana Jones. The Lego Indiana Jones level was enough for me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever play that? I They had an entire level bit. based on that scene. Oh, gosh. Like, really expanded. I think that was a good replacement for that would-be show. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I just and I don't think I don't think you're going to get audiences out to see it even though even with Tom Holland. Yeah. I don't think it's going to it's going to draw that much and it's just I I still do believe in video game movies. I think that they can be made well. But you have to have a good understanding of not just the filmmaking process but of the actual game itself, mm-hmm. of the source material. It's basically I feel like these movies are being made by people who've never even actually played the game. Right. It's kind of like, okay, we're going to base a film off of the book and you don't even crack open the book. Right. Well, and so like with video game movies, I feel like it really comes from like, you need, you need to know what makes everyone like it so much. And then you need to know, have a basic idea of the gameplay too. Cause that can go a, a lot into like the filmography of like, you know, like, um, action scenes and stuff like making it kind of mock you know what goes on in the game but especially just like with the characters like what makes the characters so loved you know and that's basically with anything you know books video games you know anything that's and if they made uh, an Uncharted movie like this this fan uh, film with starring Nathan Fillion in it I would go to watch that in a heartbeat Hmm. but that's not what they're making Right, and it's so frustrating. And I know Nathan Fillion is getting to the point where he may be too old to play the part of Nathan Drake, but it's kind of their fault. They lost their window. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I don't know. I think you should cast um, what's his name? Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Hemsworth's brother. What's his face? Oh gosh, Liam. 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 Liam Hemsworth. Liam Hemsworth. He would be a cool Nathan Drake. Everyone likes him. He he could work. 
Yeah, it could work. I, have, I don't even know. I'm just throwing that out there. I don't. I don't uh, know Nathan Drake. I'm so. just spitballing here. Yeah. You know? <laughs>